Hello everyone, welcome back to the workshop. Um, you may remember last week that I um, managed to uh, pick up this little proto cranked screwdriver from the car boot sale. Um, it's still got its original label on as you can see, so it's basically like NOS, new old stock. Um, it's just a little bit rusty, not a lot of rust to it I don't think, I don't think it's going to be, uh, uh, I don't think it's done too much damage to the, uh, the screwdriver itself. So I thought what I'll do is I'll do a, a very quick clean up on this little fellow. So um, I think what the first thing we'll do is we'll get the label off of it. That came off rather easy. Ish, he said. Okay, yeah I'm sure that'll come off quite nicely. What I'm going to do is I'm going to stick it in a little um, tub of vinegar, a little bath of vinegar, and see if we can soak this the uh, rust off of it. Okay, so I already have um, another project in a vinegar bath. So I'm going to pop the uh, proto cranked screwdriver in there right next to it and uh, we'll leave that overnight and see what it's like tomorrow morning. Okay so here we are the following morning. I did um, come in here last night and give this a wire brush, well I give them both a wire brushing actually. Um, so let's get the little proto offset screwdriver out and let's take a look at it shall we. But um, I think first of all what we better do is uh, magic the uh, little container away here. Alright that's gone, out the way then, now we can uh, take a look at this. Um, right, let's pop it down there for a moment. I'll give it a quick uh, rub down with some tissue first, get the label off and then I'm going to go and run it under the uh, tap. Can we get this label off? Oh here it comes. Okay. Right, I've just given it a run under the tap just to get the uh, vinegar off of it. Wow, look at that! Awesome! Oh wow, check this out guys, this has come out really nicely, look at that! There's no pitting in this at all that I can see, not a lot anyway, nothing at all. And in fact we can see that could be Proto just there I think. We have the name on it, Proto. Yes, we definitely have a uh, Proto and the uh, model number and made in the USA by the looks of things so I'll, uh, I'll get you a photograph to go up here guys so you can see it properly and we've got uh, Proto uh, 3438 MFG USA manufactured in the USA hmm nice now if I remember rightly I think I bought four things off of uh, this tool stall Hello, we've got a little bit of rust going on there, I might have to get a wire brush to it in a minute or two, but uh, I think I bought four things off uh, the tool stall when I bought this. There was this, this very nice little uh, CK pipe wrench, 8 inch in theory. Um, a reasonable quality copy footprint wrench and this here adjustable wrench with the, um, grub, the drive screw missing. I do actually have the drive screw but it's in my uh, work bag because I'm going to make a new shaft up for it tomorrow when I go into work. Um, this cost me 50 pence and I think these other three were pound each I believe so this little fellow for a pound I think he's quite reasonable because I've actually seen um, Proto uh, offset screwdrivers on eBay yesterday and they were you were talking about 17 and 18 pounds a shot for them. Uh, wow um, to get this one for a pound it's not bad at all I think. Uh, just get, um, get a wire brush on here get that rust out the uh, teeth just here. Yeah, that might be a bit rough. I think it's taking the uh, taking the coating off it. We'll try a little brass brush instead. That's better. I think that other one was a bit rough actually. Kind of taking the coating off the uh, thing a little bit. Hmm. Okay, I'll give some of this a go. This belonged to my late father, steel wool, uh, four zeros. So it's very, very fine stuff. Well, look how nicely this came out then, guys. Very nice indeed. There's a few uh, dings in it, but I suppose it's been probably sitting around in somebody's toolbox, probably for... Um, decades doing nothing I don't know how old the thing is I say it seemed to have um, I think it was a 
looking at the label here, it had eight pound on it by the looks of it, so it was eight quid excluding the VAT. Um, but yeah, that's, that's come out quite nicely, is that? And it's never been used either. New old stock NOS, very nice indeed. I wonder if I've got any um, screws big enough we can give it a go. I'll have a look. Okay, so a quick look around my workshop. Uh, this is the largest screw that I could find, and it'll just fit the smaller end of this, as you can see there. That's going to be a massive great big screw, and I don't think I've got anything that large, to be honest with you. Right, we'll give this one a go then, guys. I can't find anything bigger, unfortunately. Oh, crikey, this is a... Crikey, yeah, this is a hard bit of wood, is that? Blimey, is this going to be enough to do it? Get it started in there, hopefully. Get bring in the proto, see what we can do. It's nice, um, it's a nice smooth finish on this, whatever it is. Some sort of black oxide, I'd imagine. Um, I think, yeah, it's beginning to bite. Yeah, there we go. It's very nice to use, actually, guys. Get some nice leverage on it. There we go. What a nice bit of kit. See, really, you could use this, um, you know, in an awkward spot where you can't really get an ordinary screwdriver into. But you get the drift of um, how it would work. There we go, nice one. I have had this set of uh, offset screwdrivers for many years now. Um, I don't know when I bought them, decades ago, probably in the early 80s maybe. I think my late father had a similar set. So as soon as I came across this one on the um, flea market stall, I was having it. And especially as it's a new old stock, it's really nice and uh, they seem to be quite pricey too. I was very pleased to find this on the, uh, it was my one of my favourite stalls actually. He has um, boxes and boxes and boxes of uh, tools and it's always worth a, a good few minutes route round through those boxes. You know, to come up with something uh, quality like a Proto, for instance, for I think it was a pound, I think I think I paid three pound for um, the, other, the other tools I bought with it. And uh, a pa 50 pence for that um, spanner down there. But to come up with a, you know, a nice tool like this, NOS, is always it very good indeed so uh, this little fella's going to be living in my toolbox shortly so uh, with the other ones so um, yeah I'm quite pleased with this okay then guys I hope you enjoyed this uh, little renovation here it wasn't much of a job on it but just to remove some of the rust there's no pitting on it at all it was just sort of like surface rust I don't know where it came from whether it was from off other tools or not I don't know but uh, it came out very nicely indeed as I say a genuine proto for um, a pound Nice one, I like that. I was really pleased to get this one, I'll tell you. All right, guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed the review. Um, I hope you'll pop back to uh, Rathbone Manor in the very near future because I'm um, probably off to the uh, flea market this coming Sunday, weather permitting, of course, and um, see what other, other super duper tools I can get hold of. All right, everyone, uh, thanks for coming over, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you another time then.